new hope for peace in Lebanon as a rebel leader surrenders. And a new poll finds a sharp drop in public support for President Bush. This is the CBS Evening News. Bob Schieffer reporting. Good evening. The regional ambitions of Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein suffered a reversal today. It did not happen in the Persian Gulf, but in Lebanon, where a renegade Christian general that Saddam supported with money and munitions was forced to surrender and surrender by Saddam's arch enemy, Syria. Peter Van Zandt in London has our report. The sounds of battle rang out across Beirut this morning as Syrian troops mounted a lightning offensive, which some believe may bring peace to this devastated city. Their target was Christian General Michel Aoun, who was holding out in his palace in East Beirut. The overwhelming Syrian attack forced Aoun to surrender. General Aoun had resisted peace efforts, saying his forces would drive Syria out of Lebanon. Aoun's surrender may bring an end to 15 years of civil war in Beirut, which has cost thousands of lives and reduced much of the city to burned-out rubble. Peace is going to come. We're not quite sure about the shape of that peace. We're not certain about who's going to make the fundamental decisions. But it looks at the moment as if it will be Syria that will do that. Word of Aoun's surrender swept through the streets, touching off celebrations. It's all over for Aoun, this man says. It's God's will. Aoun had been on the top of Syria's most wanted list. Just yesterday, he narrowly escaped an assassination attempt during a political rally. A Syrian-controlled Lebanon is a worrying development for neighboring Israel, which fears its security will be further threatened. Tonight, Syrian troops are in complete control of Aoun's East Beirut headquarters. They have also surrounded the French embassy, where Aoun has sought asylum. The Syrians say they will not allow Aoun to escape, promising to put their archenemy on trial. Peter Vincent, CBS News, London.